Boy Milo, you hand some sausage? There's my sassy brat. Okay. No, Phoebe, no. Nope, that doesn't help. Phoebe, come back. Phoebe, come back. Yeah, I know. Come here, buddy. No, you couldn't. You would have pitched off. He was pulling pretty. Like, as soon as he does that, what are you going to I think she's catching the wild pogo. Jesus. Yes, that was a wild and crazy thing. I just wanted to show you the annoying part of teaching your horses. They don't have to be afraid of things. So we literally have everybody here around my truck right now to watch me unload these mats and Banksy's eating twine. What you can't see are the two noses trying to touch my phone. Okay. Yes, this is very interesting. This is this pony's second ride and he's literally taking me on an adventure and we're bareback in a halter and he's four years old. This is my auction rescue pony, Pistachio. I gave him his first ride back in May and then stuff got busy so he got put on the back burner and just was a field horse for a while. This is his first ride in months and second ride ever. We're bareback in a halter and he's taking me for a little trail ride on the back trail loop where he's never even been before. And I'm really, really proud of him. Um, really proud of him. And I mean, I've sat on him in the field since then, but even the fact that I can get on him with no halter, no tack, no nothing in the middle of an eight acre field and have him stand there quietly while I do it is a testament to the training I put into him. So... Yeah, I was just going to be happy if we got like a couple nice turns side to side each direction to practice our steering, but he took me for a hack. So I've gotten off of him now and I'm just going to walk him back because he's been such a good boy. So when I first started working with Compañero in May, he really lacked motivation and didn't want to trot for very long or very forward, especially on the lunge line, which he found particularly boring. He was also pretty overweight, so we had a lot of work cut out to help him lose weight for that. But building the motivation when he was out of shape and overweight, in addition to not really having any motivation to work in the first place, was something that was probably one of the more difficult parts of working with him because he's such a well-behaved stallion. But getting that motivation the forward has been like instrumentally connected to using positive reinforcement. And I really don't think I could have gotten this type of forward just with pressure because he would have just gotten so frustrated with the degree that I would have had to escalate the pressure to. So rewarding him and making it fun for him has been such a big change. Look at this morning. It's so pretty. <laughs> She looks like she's weaving in a stall, but she's itching her chest. Huh? Huh. Okay, yeah, wait, and then 
turn around and cluck at him maybe a little when you turn. Okay, go. <laughs> oh my god, and Phoebe too. Oh my god. That's so cute. Now run back. Go. <laughs> that is so cute. <laughs> wow, look at you go. <laughs> oh my god, Phoebe. <laughs> the head toss. Uh -huh. Guys, come on. <laughs> Good guys. Good guys, good, really good guys. <laughs>